I love Jason and working with Blumhouse went very well the first time. It was such an amazing experience with Get Out. So I was predisposed to be into the idea. And then I just went into the script cold. I just opened it and started reading without reading the description or anything. Um, and so it's not like I came concept first, although I now know that the concept came from James Wan and Akila Cooper who wrote the screenplay. Um, just a doll that has been animated by AI. Um, so that was my in, was just reading the script cold, uh, knowing vaguely who was going to be involved. And then the script was like such a page turn, I couldn't put it down. Without going into like the logistics of how Megan is portrayed, um, because I think it's more fun to just think of her as Megan, it was challenging to act opposite her. And it required help from every single department. It was one of those things to achieve in a movie where everyone has to be working together, rowing in the same direction. Um, from a performance standpoint, it was at times super helpful and at times very hard. <laughs> um, that depended on what Megan was doing. Just having respect for what she did is the first step. And I have a ton of respect for anyone who makes these things. It's incredible. I. I we can't even, unless it's a field that you're into, it's hard to even fathom how much goes into making something like Megan. Um, the The conversations were fascinating. I learned so much about um, the actual programming of AI, the way they learn, all of that, to the way they move and how difficult it would be to actually make something that moves the way Megan does spontaneously and so smoothly. Um, has spontaneous verbal responses and uh, physical responses to things. Um, you know, we're not quite there, but it's not impossible. Gerard is amazing. I think the thing about Gerard I admire the most is just his, like, absolute tonal vision for the movie. Um, I'm not sure anyone could have hit the marks that he does, swaying from really dark comedy to camp to drama to tension to horror. I mean, he really hits it all, and yet you still feel like you're in the same movie, which is quite a feat. Um, I think that's kind of his superpower. And we worked on it for a long time and we talked and prepped about it for like a year before we filmed it and then we've been working on it now for a while. And the whole time was really just a collaboration of trying to get Gemma to a place that felt real, try to get the story to a place where it all felt consistent, you know, all of that stuff that you do to try to polish it into as, as shiny a diamond as you can before you even film it. And then after the fact, making sure that it feels like it's as strong as it could possibly be. And he was you know, at the helm of the ship every step of the way.